Basta and show me the victory sign. <laughs> dlatego że ja jestem od filmowania niestety tylko kolegów zobaczycie
vielo rybu. Tam to je to. zabijają plankton to jest jedzenie co je szykują Guys, that's a real show over there.
erre kinek bújva? Lehet, hogy ez vagy-e? Csak úgy rá a szanyta. Ještě robím jen gubka z rokého. Kdy bude rada? pieces come assembled, so remove the bolt and washer before inserting the pivot sleeve. Lay the handlebar on the floor open end up. Lift the end of the handlebar nearest the base up to meet the lower arm. Insert the pivot sleeve through the handlebar and into the lower bar. Notice that there is a tab on the sleeve that aligns with a notch in the handlebar. Just rotate the sleeve until they align and insert fully. Then, take the bolt like this and place a washer onto it. This goes back into the pivot sleeve. Hold the assembly in place so that the sleeve tab stays aligned with the notch in the handlebar. Finger tighten the bolt, then fully tighten it with a 6mm Allen wrench. Think of securing the pivot assemblies in terms of three simple steps. One, align the tab. Two, hold it in place. And three, tighten the bolt. We use this process again when we attach the upper arm to the handlebar. Pivot the handlebar up to meet the upper arm. Then align the tab and the notch, hold the sleeve in place, and secure the bolt. Next, there are the seat and the pedals. First, we will attach the seat tube, which looks like this. The first attachment is made to the base itself. Again, we will use the pivot assemblies to attach the seat tube. Just like with the handlebar, align the tab, hold in place, and secure the bolt. Now, lift the seat tube up until the hole in the middle of the tube meets the seat lever. Again, we attach with the pivot assembly.
It's time for the seat. Take the seat and thread the locking seat knob into the bottom of it ever so slightly. Now you can slide the seat onto the seat tube. Pull down on the seat knob and release it when you have the seat onto the tube. Continue to slide the seat until it locks. Then you can fully tighten the seat knob. Well, we're almost done. All that is left is the upper and lower pedals. If you haven't already unpacked them, they are in the smaller box that came in box one. We will start by attaching our upper pedals, which are the smaller set of pedals. Simply thread the pedal into the upper hole on the foot bar and tighten with the 17 millimeter end of the two position wrench. To attach the lower pedals, which are the larger pedals, you'll need these two lower pedal axles. Simply slide these through the pedals and attach them to the base. And there it is, a fully assembled CTX 4000. Your exerciser is now ready to provide you with the fitness benefits of circuit training. At this point, if you have any pieces missing or if your assembly seems incorrect, call Nordic Track customer service right away or rewind this tape and recheck the assembly procedure. You're almost ready for your first workout on your new exerciser, but before you get into your sweats, let's take a look at all of the features your new CTX 4000 offers. The CTX 4000 is a very versatile machine with a variety of exercise options available to you, but it's really very simple to use and its flexibility is unparalleled. Once you've experimented with all of the adjustments and exercises, you'll agree the CTX 4000 is the easiest way to exercise. When you first get on your CTX 4000, you'll want to adjust the seat so that you may exercise comfortably. The seat should be adjusted so that while keeping your feet flat on the lower pedals, you can fully extend your legs. Adjust the seat by loosening the knob, pulling it down, and sliding the seat until it locks in the desired position. Tighten the knob and you're done. It's that easy. Straddle the machine before you sit. Make sure you are seated before you place your feet on the pedals. The CTX 4000 uses your body weight as a resistance mechanism. That means there are no weights to throw on and off, no bands to change, and your workout will be smooth, quiet, and comfortable. There are two separate motions that can be performed on the CTX 4000. The first is a pulling motion, the second a pressing motion. Each motion will exercise different muscles. The CTX 4000 is unique in that there are two separate positions in which it can be used. First is the horizontal position. The second is the vertical or above your head position. Switching positions lets you choose the exercise you want to focus on and what muscles you exercise. To switch from the horizontal position to the vertical, pull the handlebar toward you. When you feel the point of transition, bring the handlebar above your head. It will make it much easier if you use your legs to support this transition. The various combinations of pulling and pressing motions with horizontal and vertical positions makes it possible to exercise every major muscle group on one machine. Plus, you get a smooth and easy aerobic workout. Just above your upper right hand pedal is the resistance adjustment lever. There are 10 holes in which the lever may fit, five on top and five below. The top holes represent the five resistance levels of the press motion. The bottom holes represent the five resistance levels of the pull motion. To adjust resistance levels, step off the machine. It's important that you're not seated on the CTX 4000 when you adjust the resistance levels. The seat and the adjustment lever are connected, so your body weight makes it impossible to adjust levels when seated. Move the pin to the appropriate hole. The hole located closest to the center is the easiest level. The hole located furthest from the center is the most difficult level of resistance. The holes are labeled one, two, three, four, and five. One being the easiest, and five being the most difficult. 
we suggest starting at level three, then adjusting the resistance to your comfort. Support the seat with your hand when adjusting levels. Using the seat to move the lever will make adjustment easier. Along with the five hole adjustments, resistance is also affected by which set of pedals you use. Place your feet on the lower pedals and you are working the upper and lower body equally. Put your feet on the upper pedals for a more challenging upper body workout. Since there are two distinct positions of the CTX 4000, you may want to use the motion limiter, particularly as a beginner. It helps to control your motion, making sure you do only what you want, when you want. As you become more comfortable, you can remove the motion limiter. When in the horizontal position, affix the motion limiter by inserting one detent pin through the hole of the limiter and into the hole on the handlebar. Insert the other pin through the slot on the lower bar. When in the vertical position, affix the motion limiter by inserting one detent pin through the hole of the limiter and into the hole on the handlebar. Insert the other pin through the slot on the upper bar. To help you monitor and time your workouts, Nordic Track has included a computer on the CTX 4000. Consult your electronic sheet for instructions. For safety, use the lockout feature, which makes sure all moving parts are secure when not in use. To lock the CTX 4000, the unit must be in the pull mode. Always lock your exerciser with the handlebar in the horizontal position. Moving and storing the CTX 4000 is a breeze with the built-in utility wheels. Just lift the back end and push easily to your storage area. The CTX 4000 was designed to provide you with the time efficient benefits of circuit training. In essence, circuit training is a series of aerobic and muscular endurance exercises arranged and performed during a single session. Put more simply, circuit training is the way to simultaneously tone your muscles and improve your cardiovascular health in the shortest possible time. Studies have shown that the combination of upper body and lower body exercises results in balanced muscular development and an increase in heart and lung capacity, flexibility, and endurance. The fact is, circuit training is the best way to unlock the rewards of fitness. You'll look good and feel great through improved metabolism and increased energy. And your CTX 4000 is the key. Your machine is assembled, you understand its functions, now it's time to have some fun. Develop a fitness program on the CTX 4000 that's right for you. We'll give you a few ideas, take what you like and add it to your program. Let's go through a sample workout and examine how to use the CTX 4000 for an easy, effective workout in a shorter period of time. As before any exercise, you should stretch prior to a workout. You can do this on a CTX 4000. There are four stretches we suggest. For all the stretches, the CTX 4000 should be set in the pull mode on the resistance level five. With your feet on the floor, press your hands against the handlebar and bring your head towards the machine, arching your back outward. This will loosen up your back, shoulders, and arms. With your feet on the floor, while pulling against the handlebar, push your chest toward the machine. Keep your head up, looking straight ahead. This is a great lower back stretch. To stretch your legs, place your heels on the floor and lean forward. For a deeper stretch, place your heels on the upper pedals and lean forward. This will ready your legs for exercise. Then, move the CTX 4000 into the vertical position. Keeping your feet on the floor, grab the handlebar with both hands and push your chest towards the exerciser. This stretch targets your shoulders and lower back. Following the stretching, it is best to warm up for three to five minutes on the CTX 4000. Adjusting the machine to one of the easier levels of resistance works best. Performing an easy, relaxed motion allows your body to properly ready itself for exercise. You are now ready to work out. 
here's an overview of the exercises you can perform on the CTX 4000. You can do all of them or choose the ones that exercise the muscle groups that are important to you. The beauty of the CTX 4000 is that it's your choice. You can do as much or as little as you want. The horizontal pull motion will give you a smooth and comfortable cardiovascular workout, similar to that of traditional riders. This exercise will also tone your back muscles and biceps, as well as your legs and bottom. As with all of the motions, you should sit straight with your shoulders and back aligned. The motion should be smooth and controlled. Don't grip the handlebar too tightly. Grip it just enough to perform the motions. Switch to the vertical position. With the handlebar now above your head, pull down toward your shoulders. This exercise continues to work the legs while also emphasizing the shoulders, back, biceps, and forearms. Try switching your grip so that your palms face you. Performing the press motion in the horizontal position begins to focus on your chest and stomach. The angle of the seat is affected slightly when you change to press mode. If this makes you less comfortable, try moving the seat forward. During all press motions, pull back with your heels as you push forward with your arms. This leg curl will make the motion more balanced, as well as exercise your hamstrings, the muscles on the back of your thigh. In the vertical position, the pressing motion works your shoulders and triceps, the back of your arms.